Hello and welcome to another video. Today I will work on this nice Mercedes. It's a GT63 S with 470 kilowatt. Should be around 638 or 639 horsepower. I covered the black number of the car because I don't know if this guy is a gangster or not. I don't know if he will fuck me or my channel. No, it's just a joke. The people doesn't know I have a YouTube channel and it's better to stay like that. The reason why I do this video because I want to share with you, with my uh, subscribers, I do have a lot of beginners and I will give you a few tips. I already scanned this car. I know what the problem it is. The complaint of the customer, it was the engine doesn't run smoothly and I scanned the car, I found the problem, but I said it will be interesting if I will uh, show you a few things. I will share with you part of my uh, knowledge and how I'll go through all of these problems. I do this because I, I have a lot of emails where you request from me to see also much more details related to this diagnostic, not only to present you the diagnostic and these tools. The main reason of the channel it was to show you the difference between these tools and don't be fucked from these sellers, but also if I have chance to show you a few technical problems, then I will do it pleasure, okay? The next step what we'll do from here is to scan the car because all you must do confirm the complaint of the customer. This is the first rule what you must do. You should not trust the customer, you should not trust another technician who scanned the car. For this job I will use the launch CRP919. It's already connected. Okay, first thing as I said what we'll do, I will start the car. Because I don't have a battery maintainer now, it will be a very quick video, or at least I try to do it quick. Okay, let's start the car. I start the car because I want to have a good battery when I will do the next step and I will show you what I mean. Okay, let's put the scanner here. This car is from 2019. I already feel the vibration of the of the car. I am so sorry I cannot share with you these things, but you should believe me. The first things what I will do is to scan complete the car. You see the engine check light, it's over there. Okay. It tell us to put the battery maintainer, of course, we'll do it, but later. Okay, let's make a health report. It will take a little bit because this car have a lot of modules, but the scanner goes really fast. And as I said, advice for you, always is to check the car. Don't trust somebody else because he said he replaced that uh, part or it can be this problem. No, do it for yourself. Another advice what I want to tell you before to start to work on the car. When the customer come to you, just make a fixed price for him. I mean, think twice before to tell him something. On the begin, tell him this is the price for diagnostic only and this is the price after that when you find the, the problem, how much it will cost him to repair the car. I mean, you can tell him you want to check only the problem, you want to check only the faults or you want to, me to check the car for you and tell you 99.9% .9 what the problem it is. And here depends on you how much you charge him, but I tell you it's not professional if you tell him Okay, I make these things for you for 50 euro and after that you come to the customer and start to complain to him I work too much and it's like that or like, it's not professional. Just stay on your price. Think twice. You should know with, uh, which car you work. If you have expensive car, of course the price is more expensive because when you damage something you should also replace for yourself. It's much harder to work on this car. For example, it's a V8. It's not like a four piston and that's it. It has much more electronic stuff over there, wires and connections, and it's much more things to take it apart if you want to go to your problem. But before to uh, tell him, okay, I will repair, I will can the car and it will cost you 50 euro and after that you start to complain, this is wrong. You should think from the beginning how much time you need for this and uh, after that you can speak with him, okay? 
we will leave the cart to finished and I will skip from here I don't want to make too long this video and I will come back when the scanning is finished and the launch just finished his job it scanned the car and you noticed we have two faults on the engine ECU we have combustion misfiring and also combustion misfiring on cylinder 4 okay was detected the biggest mistake what the people do the beginners and also beginner mechanical or also maybe professional where you see a misfiring is replace the spark plugs this is not good imagine you should replace eight spark plugs on this car if you replace only one it's not point to do it every 60,000 kilometers this car should have a new spark plug you can ask the customer when it was the last time the spark plug replaced if you have more than 60,000 you can tell him it will be good to replace also the spark plugs but first of all you must to check the car okay and here is what I said to you on the beginning of the video don't tell him it will cost you 20 euro and after that you see you have much more to check and you tell him okay it was 20 euro but I didn't think it will be this the problem and do you know it will cost you 100 euro to take time to look on your car when you have the full like this with misfiring first thing what I will do is not to go there and replace the spark plug or to order a spark plug if the diagnostic tell you this is uh, misfiring it doesn't mean the spark plug is uh, bad or the coil no you should go on live data this is exactly what we'll do you should check how this engine it's running okay we select all and you should check the injectors first of all because when you have misfiring it can be also injector problem not always spark plugs and you already see from all these eight cylinders when they are running have problem but when you pay attention exactly on the cylinder number four these values is fucking huge okay you should check the values for the injectors this is like almost to melt the cylinder inside of the car if you don't replace it okay i mind comparing the values they should be close to zero this one it's on the close position but you should replace first time the injector four and see if the problem goes from there also if you see on the scanner you have problem on cylinder four and you have a default on the cylinder four misfiring it doesn't mean the injector have problem first of all what i done it was to replace the cylinder three with cylinder four and see if the fault change or not and i replaced the cylinder three with four and this is the reason why i said to you i know already what the problem it is because in my case the problem on the beginning it was on cylinder three and after that it moved on cylinder four okay then this means the injectors is bad if the fault stay on the cylinder four and you replace the injector then you don't have a injector problem you should check forward to the ecu side okay because the wires come straight from the ecu this is also what you should do all, all the times don't go and buy spark plugs just replace with the next one who runs good or at least what you see on the diagnostic it runs good and uh, also the coil is the similar procedure don't go and order the components because if you order the components and you change the part on the car and it didn't fix the problem you don't have so much credibility for your customer and it's a bad start for you i will stop the car and i have the new injector here it's brand new from bosch i will show us another tip I cover this one because it's the code of this injector and you should check with your code you have the address over here if these things will focus is www.protect.bosch.com and when you go there you can insert the injector number and what he will do it will check for you if this injector is original or not if this injector it was sold or not okay I mean you'll know for sure you have original injector from Bosch or it's a fake one okay this is a tip and you should take all this on, on the mind you should check the injectors because when you pay money for original injectors they really should be original okay as i said i will replace the injector let me show you also where is the injector code because this is also very important you see a lot of numbers here and maybe you don't know which one you should put it inside but here is the mercedes number and our injector code will, will be 31306 okay this is your injector code this is what we should put on the diagnostic after replacing the injector this is uh, things what you must to do it i will go and i will replace the injector and uh, after that we will code the injector using the launch crp919 okay okay and the injector it was replaced the number four is located over there you have one two three four 
this is a V8 engine. This was also the reason when I said to you on the video, be careful how much you request for your job because you cannot tell him, okay, I will scan the car and I will replace the injector for 100 euro. And when you start to dismantle the parts, you'll see you don't request the money what should be requested. I put it, these things only on the, on the place to coat the injector, but I will have another work to do on this car. I should resolve this problem and have also a few stuff here. But because I want to finish this video, I said I will put these things back and then I will uh, finish this car. Then again, it's not professional. When he comes to you, you tell him it will cost you so much. It's not nice when you start to cry in the front of the customer and tell him it should be more, but I do the mistake. No, maybe like that. If you are stupid, close your mouth and next time think twice, okay? From here, I will go on the car. I will code the injector and we'll go through all of, all of this coding procedure using the launch. I do apologize for that. I was interrupted. I said I will show you how you can code the injector, but it's not a big deal. I will show you how is the procedure. I really forget to record this. This is the bad things when I'm interrupted. Then you go on special function. You go over here on configuration, manual. And you go on the injector adjustment. Okay. Then it was the number four. Then over here you put your new value, okay? I go back because it's already coded. Before to go and code the injector, of course, you should delete the fault. And this is exactly what I will show you. The fault is not here. Okay, we start the car. Okay, I don't have the fault anymore. You check the knife down. We start the car. This was my advice for you. What you should do when you have this kind of problem. I don't have so much to show you. I will close the video here because I don't want to make too long this video. Maybe it will be boring for you. But as I said, it was a video for beginners and for people who want to learn something. If it was boring, you can just skip this video. As I said, I will stop here. I hope the video it was interesting for you. I hope you learned something from here. If not, I do apologize. Like always, thank you for watching and see us to next video. Bye bye.